Hello and welcome to You Jokes. I'm Jonathan Mangum. Thank you for being here. Uh, I'm so excited to be doing this show. Uh, so many people have been watching and playing along, and I see so many people have joined us live today. So yay for you, and yay for jokes, and yay for competition, which makes the jokes fun, which is what you're watching. If you've not been here before, uh, this is an improvisational competitive improv show where two very funny people come up with jokes based on a suggestion that I give them. The cool part is that you at home get to play too. If you have a joke, just go ahead and type it into the chat. Uh, our producer, Josh, will do his best to look through them all and, and find a good one. Then we'll put it up against the pros and I will decide who is the best because I am the judge, the jury, and the extra cute sh nerd. No, it didn't work, see, I told you. <laughs> but what does work is seeing all you wonderful people here in the chat room. I just want to say hi to people if you're watching. Hey, this is great. Boy, I am so excited today to um, tell you about our special guest. There is a show on HBO, and if you have not seen it, you must go see it, called The Righteous Gemstones. It's so good and so funny. Uh, perhaps you've enjoyed um, a recent uh, show, Ozark, uh, way funnier, way funnier than Ozark. I'd like to introduce you to our guest today. Ladies and gentlemen, please say hello to Edie Patterson and Cassidy Freeman. Yay! Hi. 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 How are you guys doing? We're doing great. <laughs> it's so great to see you. The show is so amazing. It's so funny. Thanks, Thank you. Jonathan. Yeah. You guys have fun doing it? No, no. Cassie's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell Danny, though. OK. <laughs> yeah. where, where, where are you, Edie, right now? Where are you? What is that? Is that your, your hang? Yeah, this is, my, uh, this is my house. This is the special room in my house. Oh, the special room. Special things yeah, happen there. It's like we're, it's just like it's called that because it's just like where people have parties, hang out, like do special stuff. It's like not a big deal. Not, okay, not a big deal. Special room party time. I like it. Thanks for the <clears throat> never invite. And Cassidy, you you you're in front of a giant ball of thorns. Is what what's happening back there? You know, I it's um I don't know if you know this if you observe, but it's Good Friday, and yes. I had this crown of thorns made, but they made it. A little big, so I just hung it. Oh. In my room. <laughs> I couldn't. It was every time I put it on, it went all the way down my body and just down. scraped me. It's like it it's hurt. It's a hula thorn. Exactly. You can you can lose weight and and worship yeah. at the same time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I'm so glad you guys are here. This is going to be a blast. Um, we're going to go into our first game, which is a little game that we call what game show is this what <laughs> game show is this i'm going to show you a picture and you tell me what is the name of the game show that you think this picture is so here we go okay. it is okay, okay, okay. right here oh man <laughs> that is it looks like santa claus and he has a hose and there's a a, a sad man with some lotion in his hand so i I don't think I've seen this game show, and I hope oh, I never God. do. Uh, we'll start off with you, uh, Edie. What is the name of this game show? The name of this game show is you. You. Uh, it's got a long name. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the name of this game show is um, you were you're an adult man and you were bad this year, but instead of getting cold, you get beat. <laughs> You're an adult man and you were bad this year. And instead of getting coal, you get beat. Mm -hmm. That's that. Uh, that's a summer spectacular, I think, um, on ABC this summer. That's awesome. Uh, Cassidy, what yeah. do you think this game show is called? This game show is called Who Ate My MF Cookies? Who Ate My MF Cookies? It's like yeah, a MF Santa. Yeah, MF stands for, you know what that stands for, oh, right? Um, um, yes. MFing cookie. Yeah. So, yeah. So the idea is that like Santa <clears throat> has to guess out of a group of people who ate his cookies and how he finds out if he's right is he shoves that hose down their throat and makes them oh. throw up. Oh, oh man. Wait, that man. hose goes down the throat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is just <laughs> after he's just pulling it out. Oh, that's, and oh that's why that mask gets there. It's, we're it's we're seeing the pull out. Yeah, yeah, this is the pull out moment. Oh my it's, God. It's family entertainment is what it is for the yeah. whole family. Yeah. Uh, let's go to our audience, uh, Josh, our producer. What is the best game show from the audience? It looks like Lyle Moon, our friend Lyle Moon. Hey, Lyle. His answer is 
The Price is Wrong. The Price is Wrong. Okay. That's pretty good. Uh, okay. Good job, Lyle. Um, <laughs> we are going to move on to our next game. Our next game is one. Can I just point out one thing, yes. Jonathan? Yes, you can. I don't think either of us addressed the most upsetting part of that picture, which was a <laughs> weird, lo- dirty clothes hanger, hamper, and lotion. Lotion. <laughs> <laughs> It, it was unsettling. It was very unsettling. And, and I, neither of us touched those aspects. It was probably there was also, this, yeah. There was also an aspect of those, like um, those streamlines, like they were at a club almost. Yeah. Too. Yeah. yeah. With the lotion. I'm, yeah. I'm personally glad we avoided the lotion and the basket. Great. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Secret of the lambs too. I mean, Put the I Santa didn't... in the yeah. basket. Uh, our next game is one we like to call DJ Who? DJ Who. This is how DJ Who works. I'm going to show you a picture of a DJ. And you tell me what that guy's name is. DJ Who. And here is the picture coming now. Oh. He, uh, he looks uncomfortable. But I would believe he would put on a good christening bar mitzvah or first communion any day of the week dj who what is his name if you know the answer type it in have you seen this man type his name in in the facebook comments now all right we are going to go with cassidy your first what is this dj's name dj sweaty balls (laughs) dj sweaty balls yeah he's he's, um he's just kind of wiping up the sweat in that picture (laughs) he's he's being considerate by keeping the sweat in as to not to ruin the dance floor. Am I right? Yeah, well, he wants us to focus on his eyes, so. Focus oh. on the eyes. <laughs> but we know what's going on. My eyes are up here, ladies. Exactly, uh, exactly. Edie, what is this DJ's name? Um, I really only know him from like uh, times that he would like do a double act with Tiesto in Vegas. Oh yes, but- Tiesto. Yeah, he like sometimes performs with Tiesto, but um, that's obviously DJ Taint. DJ Taint! <laughs> I like it, DJ Taint. I, I think I saw DJ Taint with DJ Tiesto and TJ Tiestical. Amazing trio. Uh, let's go to our audience here. What did they say? Looks like the best one. <laughs> Star Bowers knows uh, him as DJ Neverlaid. DJ ah! Neverlaid. Well, what? Just so we're clear, that's one of my good friends. That I forgot to name winners. I'm going to give that round to Cassidy. Cassidy, good job. The round before fair. went to Edie. Yes. Edie, that was your round before. Uh, yeah, but the audience is fair, doing fair. well. Audience is doing well. Time for our next game. It's a game called <laughs> Anachronomaniac. Anachronomaniac. Yeah. I'm going to give you a word, and then you just say what that word is an acronym for. LOL means laugh out loud. Stan might mean um secret tension and nudity Uh, so what does this word mean what does this word mean windy oh windy so if you're playing at home you're going to type a a word that begins with w a word that begins with i a word that begins with n one with d and one with y that makes up the word windy which also describes both of my teenage children in this quarantine so, Wendy, what is your word? We're going to start with you, Edie. Wendy, what does it stand for? Walk in night. Do you? It's like a, a it's like a thing. <laughs> it's like a thing that people ask each other. <laughs> like they want to know, like, are you a vampire? <laughs> Walk in night. Do you? Yeah, Walk in night. Also, the you? way you secretly invite people to the lair that you're in right now. Oh yeah. Yeah. Walk at night, do you? Yeah. Uh, Cassidy, windy, what does it mean? Windy means, um, w- well, I'm going to need a definite yes. <laughs> well, I'm going to need a definite yes. Yeah. yeah. Like I was saying, when, I, when I ask people, um, uh, walk at night, do you? I, I usually put hers as the follow up. Yeah. Oh, well, oh, yeah. I walk at night, yeah. do you? Well, I'm going to definitely, I'm, well, I'm needing well, a definite I'm a yes. Need, I'm in need. A definite yes. That is, that's going to catch on. People will be texting that. Uh, let's go to our audience and see what they think when, Wendy is. It looks like uh, Jerry Kennedy. Jerry Kennedy, when I need, <laughs> he says it's when I need that yummy. 
Oh, you're going to need that yummy, yo. <laughs> okay, when Jerry. I, that exactly. yummy. I have uh, heard that. Jerry, you've won that round. The audience has won. Good job, Jerry. All right. Jerry will receive a small business loan. Oh, oh. Job walk in night do you <laughs> <laughs> clearly sorry, clearly sorry. Yeah, our yeah. next game is one that we call seven word thoughts seven word thoughts i'm going to show you the picture of someone and i want to know what they're thinking but you can only use seven words you can only use seven words <laughs> okay here okay. we go <laughs> oh god <laughs> She she's she's trying. She's trying real hard. I hope she does well in her pursuits. But what is she thinking? Remember, if you're typing in your joke, it can only be seven words. Only be seven words. What is she thinking? I'm gonna start off with you, Edie. What is she thinking? I dressed for hot weather, but whatever. <laughs> I dressed for hot weather, but whatever. I dressed for hot weather, but whatever. That's it. Seven she's, words. she's like questioning her choices because there's clearly people like in flannels and like knit caps. And she's mm. like, oh no, what yeah. have I done? But I'm going to ride it. I'm going to let oh, it ride. All right. She's confident. She's confident. Um, Cassidy, what in <laughs> seven words are these ladies' thoughts? Wish I was only wearing the hat. <laughs> I wish I was only wearing the hat. Yeah. Wow. She's even preempting it by covering Nip with that hair. She, yes, she yeah. is. You know? Yeah. And she's she could could be wearing only the hat. So we'll see what the audience says here. What is the sure. audience's answer? What are her thoughts in seven words? It looks like Martin Jones. I am not a man, baby cakes. I am not a man, baby cakes. Okay. Really? Was That's baby, a, I am not a man, baby. Oh, baby cakes is two words in that. It, it, oh, apparently dang. to Martin, it is. Okay, okay, uh, okay. I'm gonna give that one to Cassidy. Good job, Cassidy. Thank you. You won that round. <laughs> we are moving on now to a little thing called last show's best, last show's best. Yay, <laughs> what is that? I will tell you. Um, not everyone can watch the show live a lot. Most people are watching it after the fact and they want to be able to play. So if you're watching it later on Instagram or, or a rebroadcast on Facebook, you can still put in a joke. We will still go through all the jokes and pull out uh, the best one. So this is from last week. So the best one from last week is we played a little game and it was called, um, what is this lady going to say next? What is this lady going to say next? And the winner of that was Kevin Westman with worst yeast infection ever. Worst yeast infection ever wow it's pretty terrible it does look pretty disgusted yeah the fact that you can just hold it up and that it's almost two-dimensional but uh what good for you kevin thanks is, for playing along is that piece of bread the yeast infection that is what i le am led to believe by kevin's wow uh, joke yeah wow i didn't i wasn't clear on how they worked <laughs> yeast infections yeah oh yeah i didn't world. know you just literally pull a piece of white bread out of yeah usually yeah. it comes out, out toasted what? <laughs> uh, we're moving on to our last game this is a simple one it's just called caption this caption this all you have to do is caption something i'll show you a picture and there'll be a little speech bubble over it and you tell me what is being said so here we go caption this and whoops there you go oh wow Ooh. Kind of looks like uh, David Arquette arguing with his agent. I think I saw that once at a Renaissance fair. But what do you think it is? What is this guy yelling? What is being said? Go ahead and type it into the Facebook comments right now. What is this guy saying? I'm going to start off with you, Cassidy. What's this guy saying? I know that is a toupee. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He knows it and he's telling I mean, look him. at it. It does look like one. It does. This guy doesn't want, this guy doesn't take any crap from anyone. No. Uh, Edie, what is this guy saying? If I take a nap again and I wake up and you have done drawings under my titties, I am going to beat your ass. <laughs> oh, man. 
it's you, can't see the, you can't see the drawings that the guy did because like they're they're underneath the flap. Oh, see, I thought that he had actually drawn a titty over the titty, a the double titty. Flap. Mm, there's like secret under drawings of like rabbits and stuff under the titty. Rabbit. Oh, what's a cute rabbit under your titty? Happy Easter. Mm. Happy Easter, y'all. Happy Easter, y'all. <laughs> Let's see what the audience came up with. It looks like uh, Ben Pack. Hey, Ben, stay away or I'll send Santa after you. Yes, it's a callback from the first oh, joke. Hello. Good job, Ben. Yay. <clears throat> hey, you know what? That's our show. Thank you guys so much. Edie Cassidy is such a great time playing with you guys. And please go watch their show, The Righteous Gemstones. Righteous Gemstones. It is awesome. Have you guys started taping season two yet? We started and then um, got put on hold for a minute because of the global <laughs> okay. pandemic. Maybe you can stretch out the footage you've done to eight episodes. Uh, thank you guys again for joining us. And thank you at home. Um, if you please wouldn't mind sharing and liking this. If you're not watching it live or if you're watching it on Instagram and you want to play with us, come back to my Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash The Mangum this Tuesday, April 14th at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard, 9 Eastern for our next episode of You Jokes. Bye, guys. Bye.